Hey guys, it's Maxine Evans from Maxine Evans Photography. Today I'm just going to show you a, a really quick tutorial on how to make a alt tag action. Um, an alt tag is invaluable um, in every single image that you send out there into the world, especially the digital internet world should have an alt tag. Um, including the city that you uh, work in and um, obviously newborn photography or baby photography or wedding photography or whatever uh, as well as your website so I'm just going to show you how to do that it's super easy and it doesn't take any time at all and then I'm going to show you how to batch it onto all of these images that I have open I have quite a few open here um, so little Grayson's going to be my little model today so over here on the right, you can see that I've already made a file uh, or a set, uh, alt tag actions, and we're going to go ahead and record an action right now. So we're going to go ahead and click this little box here um, right next to the trash can. There's the trash can and then this create new action and we're going to hit play and then we're going to name it. So I'm just going to name it newborn photographer and I'm going to go ahead and hit record. So now that this is recording, we're recording in action. We're going to go over here to the, um, this is actually the crop toolbox. So um, we're going to click on this crop toolbox and we're actually going to right click on it, right click and click on slice select tool. So grab that slice select tool. So do it again, crop box or crop tool and then I select tool and then go over here to the middle of the image and right click again and then go down to edit slice options. Now I've already put an alt tag on this image um, but I just want to show you where to find this all this stuff and then how to put it in there. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that your website is in there and then um, newborn photographer I'm actually going to add Los Angeles. Los Angeles newborn photographer and then of course Maxine Evans photography um, and then I'm gonna select OK so you can change the name I usually don't I just keep it the original image number so uh, so you have the name the website and then the alt tag to me those are the most important things so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK now these are all JPEGs because I've already been working on these um, you could use this with um, your raw images as well. It's it's super easy. So go ahead and hit OK. And also this alt tag that we're making, you can use this over and over and over. Alt tag action that is. So bear with me. I'm dyslexic, super dyslexic. Um, so I tend to stutter a little. So okay. So we put that in there. I digress. Uh, put your URL, which is your website, and then um, the alt tag. Then hit OK. And then go over here and hit stop. All right, so there it is. There's your action. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to run uh, that action on all of these images that are open. So I have several images that are open. So we're going to go over to file. So over to the left to file and then we're going to hit automate. Then we're going to hit batch. So when you batch you want to make sure that you've got the set open that you want. Alt tag actions and then the action that you want, newborn photographer. Um, I'm choosing the source as the all the open files there in my Photoshop right now. And then destination, you want to click none. We don't want those to leave Photoshop because perhaps you're not done saving them or you're not done working on them or what have you. So then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And there it goes. It's going to run through and put the alt tag on all of these images for me. That's it. I don't have to do anything. So we go back here, pick up one of these images, checking to see the alt tag, and there it is. It's already on there. So you can pick up any of these images, edit slice options, and there's your alt tag. And that took what all of like 45 seconds. So I mean, really easy peasy. So that batch tool or automate tool is super helpful, especially when adding alt tags because you can easily run through and do all of uh, your images real quick. And you want to do that with any image you send out there into the world. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. See you on Facebook. Bye.